A display of zero tolerance by the Turkish police, the harshest crackdown so far after days of anti-government protests. A sit-in against the government's plan to turn a park into a shopping mall turned into a confrontation in the central Taksim Square and surrounding streets. The government will pay for this, this man says. For many people who came here, this was not just about the demolition of a park. The trees are just symbols. This protest is about all of our freedoms. We know the government will go ahead with its plans, but will continue to resist. This is just the beginning of the resistance. The government must take us seriously. There are millions of people behind us. Dozens of people were injured, including tourists who normally pass the popular square. Opposition MPs and journalists were also hurt. Rights groups criticized what they say was the heavy-handedness of the police. Protests have spread to other parts of the country, including major cities such as Izmir and Ankara, where also clashes have been taking place between the police and protesters. But these scenes are not being widely reported on Turkish media, causing anger among protesters who are saying that local media are coming under pressure by the government. These protesters say it's all part of the growing authoritarianism of Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his ruling AK Party. Recently, his government imposed restrictions on the sale of alcohol and public displays of affection. Protesters in the square chanted against the Prime Minister demanding his resignation, but he still retains a wide support base, and themes like these will only deepen the divide over his rule. Raul Al Jazeera, Istanbul.